Well, let's talk about them. They've been out for a while, right? Ooh, 2014 or whatever. So these, uh, I didn't know about these uh, K-Bar Snowdy Boss and Snowdy Big Boss knives until my buddy from Sweden says, oh, do you have one of those and this and that? And I go, no, and I was not familiar with what was going on there. And I looked them up and I'm going, wow, I can't believe uh, I didn't know. Uh, so they've got slip covers. Okay, so we'll take the slip covers off. Slip covers are like this. And turn them around. All right. Now, there's the Snowdy Boss. And here's the Snowdy Big Boss. A little bit different kind of box under here, huh? Even though the boxes are the same size. See, Snowdy Big Boss, leather sheath. Okay, we, we've uh, basically pulled the, the covers off. And this is not the way they came. I mean, I've had them open and pulled them out and stuff like that. But you can see this grind on this blade is a chisel grind. Drop point blade, but uh, 20 degree angle supposedly. Looks like a flat grind. Stone wash, shiny and a Zytel reptile type handle on here. Full tang, looks to be. Uh, small knife, not a real big knife. And here's, here's the sheath. These leather sheaths are by JRE. So, uh, interesting. And, goes right in. And give me a little bit of, there we go. Get it all the way in here. Brand new. First entry into sheath. K-Bar. Because I Carl Bayer. <laughs> Guy couldn't spell, right? So that started the thing. He just scrolled out that he killed a bear with their knife. And so uh, he spelled it Carl Bayer. And it's K-Bar. And then here is another set of scales with the snooty s in them and these are called dalahala scales so you want the dalahala so if you've gone to uh, trader joe's and you got the two buck chuck now you can get the dalahala scales and here they are that's pretty wild isn't it i i mean to me, they look real purplish, blue-ish, as opposed to, see that? Different, huh? But, wow. And, I mean, the hits just never stop coming. Then you get a Schmuckatelli bead, lanyard bead. So let's out this one. Is this cool? <laughs> and this has got, and let's just... I mean, the layers, what is this, like a Russian doll or something? Here we go. The snowy bead, three-sided bead. So, uh, and if you got some uh, lanyard cord, paracord, you could make yourself a little uh, lanyard, put this bead on it with this knife. So let's pull all this out of this box right here and lay this one here okay now let's take the big boss out and this one of course schmuckatelli these are not i mean I, I don't consider these to be terribly expensive knives like around 140 for the big boy and uh not much uh over 100 like 105 for this for the boss and then the big boss around 140 and their s35 vn blades somewhere around a 58 hrc is what they say check that out okay oh feels sharp feels sharp so another bead another set of dalahala scales bigger scales obviously bigger knife how about that? Hmm. Well, no wonder Jens was asking me about it. I didn't really, uh, I, hadn't, I hadn't been in on the memo on this one. But 
here you go for impact etc and then of course put your lanyard on and then there's the reptile type scales but dalahala might be might be nice doesn't that look purplish this looks purple to me and for you guys that are colorblind like i'm about half colorblind but that that that's purple uh but I just thought it was really incredible. They threw another set of scales in. And then, of course, these nice leather sheaths. So let's uh, pop that one open. And there we go. Wow. Okay. So paperwork, box, everything. And let's run them through the mill. Uh, you know, they're comfortable in hand. Reverse grip, fine. I think this is like a four and a half inch blade. We'll measure them out here. So this is a smaller knife. This is not very big. Let me let me get my paramilitary too. See? It's smaller than the parrot too. Now, next. Okay. Uh, that's closer. That's closer, isn't it? This is bigger than the paramilitary too. Tape, please. Okay, so we've got four and a half inch blade at about 115 millimeters. Overall, nine inches all the way to the end there. Uh, and we're not quite to uh, 23 centimeters. A little over 22 and a half centimeters overall length. So this is a nice size to me. Working knife, really tall blade. Uh, and, you know, it's 20 de degree grind, supposedly, on this. And uh, stone wash. Is it sharp? Will it cut anything? Okay. Okay. Yeah. And how about the boss? Not the big boss, but the boss. That'll work. Let's check the boss. Uh, the boss, three and a half inch blade at about 90 millimeters and overall not quite seven inches, 6.8 inches at about 17 and a half centimeters overall length and made in the USA according to the paperwork I see, USA origin. So extra set of scales. The Schmuckatelli bead, the knife, the sheath. Very, very cool. Like it. Um, let's look at the little guy, the boss. 0 0.12, about a three millimeter blade stock, and 11.3 at about 0 0.44. Uh, well, hold on. Okay, now I'm getting various because we've got raised and lowered areas, but let's call it about 0.47. I think I hit a 0.47 at one, at one place. Yeah. And this, the big boss, oh, that's six tenths of an inch and 0.65 there. Uh, blade stock, 0.16. That's pretty heavy. A uh, little, little over four millimeters. But right at that, as far as the thickness of the blade stock. Yeah, comfortable in the hand. Uh, moving up here into this little choil area, there's enough for all four fingers to get on there. Uh, reverse grip, that's fine as well. Let's get the scale out. Let's measure how much they weigh. Well, the boss, 74.2 grams at 2.62 ounces. Now, with the sheath, let's see what we got. Mm, four ounces with the sheath. Next, big boss, 6.86 ounces at 194 grams. Let's get ourselves in here. Uh, 262 grams 
kicking it back around to ounces, 9.27 ounces with the sheath. Check that sheath out. That's pretty cool. I like it. I kind of like the fact, I mean, you ever seen fixed blade knives where this area comes up to where the blade is, where they don't cut through this. I like the fact that they cut through this, this grind area here uh, and so left you a choil where you could slide up into that because they're not all like that necessarily. I've seen a lot of Bark River knives that they've left this this material all the way down to the end where the blade is it's just not sharpened so yeah uh yeah i think that makes it uh more usable more comfortable uh in my estimation and then this swedge running along here reinforced tip really nice design looks good And apparently, you can swap out the uh, the scales, so it's got to be not too difficult to kick this off. Okay, yeah, they tick right away. You give them a little snap there, and uh, pull this away from here. All right, and wow. Okay, that's full tang all the way, isn't it? So there's where the, uh, with the other type of scale. In fact, let's, let's change it over completely. I mean, which do you prefer, this or this? I think I, I kind of like this because it's got the snowy emblem on here. But then this color blue is, is really nice as well. So I think either way, you can't go wrong. And let's see. Yeah, pull it right off. Okay, so they're not that difficult to take off. And reinstall the Dalahala. Let's put the Dalahala on. And uh, yeah, that's kind of interesting, huh? I think he sounds like he'd be a fun guy to hang out with. With the dollar holla scales. <laughs> or that's what I call it. I mean, I saw a guy talking about it, going, calling them the Dola Hola. And I'm going, that looks like dollar holla to me. That and the two buck chuck. Okay, here. And. One more? Come on. What are you migrating over here? What's going on, buddy? Hiding out? Didn't think I'd see you? What do you think about that? Oh, yeah. Dollar holla. Got the S grips on here. It's all dressed up. No place to go, though. What? Might have to take you somewhere. And then you can put these on here, too. So... What do you think? Yes, Dalla Holla wins the day. Absolutely. So two different size knives, depending on what you want to do. But, uh, you know, how do you have the boss and not go big boss too? I mean, you got to you gotta have these together, like a pair. And then you got the Schmuckatelli beads, the extra scales, the whole deal, and the sheaths. 
Uh, sounds like a deal to me and S35VN. A lot of these fixed blade knives with S35, they're going for well over 140. And then this one's just at 100. Uh, last I looked online, so uh, who knows? You might be able to pick them up even a little less than that. But uh, not that heavy, not that big. This is not huge. This is the big boss, but it's still, this is really a right size knife, don't you think? I mean, this is really a right size knife. If you're knife, if you're going to go camping or doing something, I think this looks pretty utilitarian too, uh, as far as the blade shape, uh, ergos. Uh, let me see what my balance is on here. If I can balance on these, there you go. There's my balance point on there. Yeah. So I feel good about that. And you know. For, for impact driving things you might need to on a campsite, that kind of thing. And then, of course, you could fancy it all up there, put you a lanyard on there and your schmuck tally bead, and you'd be all good to go. All downtown. All right. But, hey, I just thought I'd throw these out at you uh, in case you had missed the train on that, too. Maybe I'm the only guy left at the station. But, uh, yeah. The Snowdy Boss and Big Boss by K-Bar S35VN with all the toys. Cool knives. I'll leave you to it. You know what we do. We love playing with them knives because we love them knives. So you guys, stay sharp.